Business Central has functionality that allows us to perform bank account reconciliations. To do this, we'll first need to go to the bank account reconciliations page. In order to reconcile accounts with statements manually, we create a new reconciliation. And on this new recon, we'll just get rid of that error message. Um, we'll, on this new reconciliation, we'll need to specify our bank account first of all, which we'll use the operating bank account for this one, and our statement date, which we'll mark as the 1st of January of the year that this demo database operates in. Our statement date filled in, we should also have our last balance statement filled in as well. And you can see under the bank account ledger entries fast tab, a number of entries have been automatically populated. Once we're happy with how this looks, we can go to process and suggest lines. On this box that has pop popped up our request page that we have here, we can specify the start and end date that we're looking at. This will give us a number of entries that we can then work through for this reconciliation. We're looking at the month of January for this demonstration, so we'll specify that here. We'll, you can also specify whether you'd like to include checks and or exclude reversed entries. We're happy with how this looks for the time being, so we'll hit OK. And the Bank Statement Lines Fast tab now shows a number of entries. These entries are also green because Business Central has automatically applied the entries with the Open Bank le Account Ledger entries that we see in the Bank Account Ledger Entries Fast tab. If we need to remove any of these values, we can do so by selecting a particular entry and choosing Delete Line. A small confirmation box will pop up if you select it where you can choose whether to go ahead or not. Also, if we need to add any values, we can do this by manually adding a line to the bank statement lines, filling it in as necessary. Once we're happy with how that particular line looks, we'll make sure it's selected. Then in the ribbon up top, we can go to Actions, Functions, and Transfer to General Journal. We select our General Journal template and batch and then we hit OK to transfer that particular line or the selected lines to the journal. We will have to specify on that general journal that we've selected a balancing account type and number, which will need to be a type of bank account and the number of the account that we're reconciling, which in this case would have been our WWB operating bank account. And then if we post that journal, Business Central will create a new bank account ledger entry that is automatically included in the reconciliation. If we have any incorrect transaction amounts on the bank statement, the transaction cannot be applied to a ledger entry. This also means the bank reconciliation cannot be posted. If we need to adjust an incorrect bank statement line, we need to firstly select the incorrect bank statement line and we would need to adjust the type to a type of difference. And in doing so, we would be asked to delete the application. This means that the related ledger entry on the bank account ledger entries will now be open. And we can then begin to enter a new value if the total, uh, if the total of all difference lines are equal to the value in the total difference field at the bottom. If I just show that here, that's fine. So the difference field being the one here, if this, if the total of all the difference values that we have are equal to the value in the total difference field down here, then the reconciliation may be posted. It's important to note, however, that the reconciliation cannot post until the amount for the rec reconciliation line is equal to the incorrect amount in the statement. We can correct this by either adjusting the statement amount to equal the amount on the bank statement or add a line for the difference between the two amounts. This can be done by simply adding a new line in the bank statement lines fast tab as a type of difference, then entering the statement amount. Whatever method we use will leave an open ledger entry that must be applied when the bank corrects the error. This means that the correct GL bank account balances will be recorded in Business Central. However, we must consider that as soon as this reconciliation is posted, users will not be able to differentiate between whether differences are resolved or if other errors in the bank statement are corrections of previous errors. So please take care. 
With this set as it is, we can now look at posting the reconciliation, which can be done via the posting at the top in the ribbon. If you'd like to review a draft of the reconciliation statement, you can make use of the test report under actions, posting and test report. After posting, you'll be able to review the changes on the bank account card itself by going to the relevant card, which will show just a second, bank accounts in the operating bank account. And up the top here, we have bank account and statements. And any posted ones, as we can see here, will appear where we expect them to.